Hello everyone, my name is Vikal Jain and today I am going to show you how to use fuzzy VLOOKUP. So what, what does it mean? When I am talking about fuzzy lookup, so it means, see here is the lookup value which I am going to search for and here is the lookup table. So lookup value is not same as your lookup table. So as you can see, my name is here and my name is here with a surname. So this is called as fuzzy lookup. So both two are not common. So when we are dealing these kind of problems, we have three wildcard in Excel. So here it is. First is star that denotes multiple characters. So if you are talking about Vikal star, so it means it can be Vikal Jain, Vikal Sharma, Vikal space, Vikal dash, whatever the case may be. So it denotes multiple characters. And when we are talking about question mark, it denotes only single character. So Vikal space, Vikal N, Vikal I. So whatever the case may be and the third is tilde so tilde is used to find the white characters in a cell so we are going to talk about in these kind of uh, in these two white cards entry in another video so let's talk about fuzzy we look up this time and since i have multiple characters in my name in front of the culture in here so i'm going to use star so star we look up so lookup value would be this. Now what I need to do, I need to concatenate the star with this vehicle. So I am concatenate my star and the table array would be this and lock it. Now comma, column index number would be 2 since I am going to search the amount and 2 comma 0. Close the parentheses and enter and here you can see the answer. It is fucking fine. Sorry. And when we are talking about Kumar, it is not working because Kumar is not in the beginning. And here we can see Jitinder Kumar is under last, but here Kumar is not searching by the star. So what are we going to do? We are going to concatenate our star in the beginning also so that we can do these kind of problems. And here it is. And you can see here it is the answer and here is the solution. So you can give in stars and it denotes multiple characters. So keep enjoying and keep learning.